Welcome to part two of Bentley the Bee, the tutorial. Now that we have the eyes on the bee, we are going to start decreasing on round 16. Decreasing is the exact opposite of increasing. All you're doing is combining two stitches together. So I will show you how to do that in this next round. Insert your hook, place your first stitch of the round, and then mark that stitch. In the next stitch, you are going to be doing a single crochet. And in the next stitch, make another single crochet. And now we are going to combine the next two stitches into one stitch. As you can see, each stitch has two little lines, a front loop and a back loop. This is the front loop. So as you can see, there's still the back loop that's not on my hook. To make a decrease, you are going in the front loop only of the next two stitches. So insert your hook, go into the front loop of the next stitch, and again in the next stitch as well. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over again and pull through two. So single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then make a decrease. So again, insert your hook in the front loop only of the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and decrease. Front loop only of the next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, three single crochets and then a decrease. So decreasing here. And just keep repeating this pattern of three single crochets decrease until you get back to the stitch marker. You're gonna have 24 stitches at the end of this round. So as you can see, the body is tapering inwards now. And for round 17, we are going to be doing two single crochets and then a decrease. So insert your hook, make your first stitch of the round, and then mark that stitch. Make another single crochet, and then make a decrease. Single crochet, single crochet, and decrease. Single crochet, single crochet, decrease. Just keep repeating this pattern until you get back to the stitch marker. At the end of round 17, you're gonna have 18 stitches. I'm going to pause here and start stuffing my bee, so grab your stuffing from your yarny box kit and pull it apart a little bit with your hands to make it a little bit more fluffy and then you're just going to insert the filling into the bee. Make sure you really shape out the body of the bee by pressing your fingers into all four corners of the head. This is going to give your bee a nice round body.
Be sure not to overstuff your bee. You can continue stuffing after every round. It's going to be harder to keep working the more stuffed your bee is. So I'd say about this is good for stuffing for right now. Make sure the stuffing isn't poking out of the bottom of the bee for your next round. So your bee should look something like this. And now we can carry on to round 18. So remove your stitch marker, make your first single crochet of the round, and then mark that stitch. And now you are going to make a decrease in the next two stitches. Then single crochet and decrease. single crochet and decrease. And as you can see, I'm kind of pulling the yarn taut after every stitch of this round. That's just to ensure that I'm not gonna have some big gaping holes to keep my tension nice and tight. So now if you wanna add a bit more stuffing in your bee, you certainly can here. I'm going to jump right into round 19, which is just decreasing in every single stitch around the circle. So you're gonna start off by making a decrease and then mark that stitch. And then continue decreasing all the way around until you get back to the stitch marker. Once you've done round 19, we can trim the end of our tail. So leave about eight inches or so on your yellow yarn. And then all you're gonna do is remove your stitch marker and pull the yarn through the last hole. And again, if you wanna add a tiny bit more stuffing, you certainly can. I'm gonna add a bit more just to shape out the bottom of the bee here. Next, grab your yarn needle and thread your tail end with it, and we are going to sew the hole shut. So in order to do that, all you have to do is insert the needle into the front loop of every stitch around. This is going to create a drawstring effect where we can just pull the hole shut. There you can see it just pulls shut and then you can weave in your tail end a little bit. I like to just weave it in a couple times back and forth to make sure the end doesn't come unraveled. And then once you've done that, you can trim it off and you have the body of your bead done. So to make the wings of the bee, we're gonna start off by grabbing our white yarn and making a magic ring. To do this, you're gonna wrap the yarn around your top three fingers, making an X on one side and two parallel lines on the other side. Take your crochet hook, go under the first loop, over the second, pull the second down below, twist your hook, grab the yarn, and pull it through. If you didn't catch that, don't worry, I'll play it again for you in slow motion.
If you're still having a bit of trouble with the magic ring, I do have a separate tutorial link down below that you can watch. Now we are just going to make six single crochets in this magic ring. Just be sure to be crocheting over top both the tail and the ring or else you won't be able to pull it shut. If you've done your six single crochets and you're not able to pull the whole shut like this, just rewatch the tutorial again as you might have done something wrong. For round two of the wings, we are going to start off by making an increase in that very first stitch. So your first single crochet and then go in for your second one to make an increase. And then we are going to pause and mark the very first stitch that we've done, which is the second stitch away from your hook. So we are going to be doing another increase in the next stitch. So first single crochet and the second. And in the next stitch we are doing a half double crochet increase. So to do that, you are first going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over again, and pull through all three loops on your hook. To repeat that, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over again, pull through all the loops on your hook. That is a half double crochet increase. And we are going to be doing that in the next stitch as well. So again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over again, pull through, yarn over again, pull through all three loops on your hook. And then to make an increase, do that again in the same stitch. And now we are going to do a single crochet increase in the next two stitches. So just a regular single crochet increase. and another regular single crochet increase. So here you can see that it's kind of taking on an oval shape and that's going to create the wing shape. So for round three, this is the last round. Insert your hook, make a single crochet, and then mark that stitch. In the next available stitch, make another single crochet, and then make another single crochet. In the next six stitches, we are going to be doing a half double crochet increase. So increasing here, but making sure it's a half double crochet. Again, in the next stitch, a half double crochet increase. Half double crochet increase. Half double crochet increase. Half double crochet increase. And your last half double crochet increase. To finish off the round, we are doing three single crochets. So single crochet, single crochet, and single crochet. That completes the first wing. So to fasten off, we are just going to remove the stitch marker. And we are going to make a slip stitch. So all you have to do is insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. And that just gives a nice neat little finish. And then cut your yarn, leave about 10 or 12 inches for sewing. And don't forget to weave in your end here. So weave in that magic circle end and you are going to make two wings. So next we're gonna make the bees antennas. This is going to be a simple chain and you're gonna start off by making a slip knot. So I'll show you here how to do a slip knot and then I'll play it again in slow motion. So 
So here I'm showing you how to do the slip knot in slow motion. Once you have your slip knot, you can insert your hook and tighten it to your hook. And now we are just going to chain 11. So to chain, all you do is you yarn over and pull through the loop that's on your hook. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. So that's it for the antennas. Trim your yarn. You don't need to leave a long tail for sewing. And all we're gonna do is thread this piece through the top of our bee to make the antenna. And I'll show you how to do that and attach the wings. So your bee should be looking like this and you should have two wings made with the tails woven in so that the magic circles don't come undone. And now all we have to do is sew the wings onto the back of the bee. If you've never sewed with plushies before, don't worry, it's super easy. Just grab your yarn needle and thread one of the tails of the wings onto the needle. And your wing should be looking like this with the end woven in. And then just pick where you want the wing to sit on the back of your bee here. And all you have to do is take the thread and put it through one stitch of the body and one stitch of the wing. And then pull it through. One stitch of the body, one stitch of the wing, and pull it through. And I'm just doing this on the tip of the wing. I'm not going to sew the entire circle on. I'm just going to do it through about four of the wing stitches like this so that it kind of sticks out the back of the body. And I'm gonna go over it a few times to make sure it's really secure. So that looks good to me. And do the exact same thing with the other wing on the other side of the body. To finish off the bee, take your antenna piece and we are going to thread it onto the yarn needle. Like so. And we're just going to thread it through two stitches on the top of the bee, directly behind the eyes like so. And just make sure things are nice and symmetrical before you pull the antenna through. So just pick two stitches that look good to you and pull that antenna piece through. And if you mess up and it looks wonky, all you have to do is pull the antenna piece all the way through and redo it. So that looks about good to me. And then I'm just going to weave in the tail ends of the antenna back down into the body just to make sure that they don't come undone. I'm just taking those tail ends and poking them back down the chain piece. Just weaving them in and out and then I'm going to poke the tail into the body of the bee. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side and I'm going to have the tail come out the exact same hole of the other tail so that I can knot the two black ends together into the body of the bee. And I'll show you how to do that in a second.
So here you can see I just made sure that both tails are coming out of the same hole of the body. And that way I can double knot them and then I can just kind of hide the tail ends into the body and they won't come undone. So now that your bee has all its parts, all it's missing is a little mouth. The mouth is optional, but I think a little smile is super cute. So if you want to add a mouth to your bee, all you have to do is grab a spare piece of black yarn and thread it onto your yarn needle. Pick two stitches between the eyes. I like to do the same row that the eyes are on like this. And I'm just gonna poke my needle through, make sure, making sure it's very symmetrical. And you can either do a straight across mouth or a little V. I'm gonna opt for a V, so I'm just going to poke my needle back through the first hole that I went into and out down through the bottom in the middle of the line, just like so. And then pull your yarn, and if you want a straight across mouth, you can leave it like that but I'm going to poke my needle back up through the middle of that line and then pull it down and insert my needle back into that stitch. And then I'm gonna have my needle just come up out through the head like so and that creates a little V to make him smile and to tie up the ends, all you have to do is thread the other tail into the same hole that the tail's coming out of. And then just like the antennas, we're gonna double knot it and then hide the ends into the body. So that's it for Bentley the Bee. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Yarnybox, and I'll see you guys in next month's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.